Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2024, maximize the confusion of an exam. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given an answer key string and we have k. So here in the answer key, the index represents the question number and the characters in the index represents the answers for the question, right? So I need to maximize the consecutive characters either it is true or false by performing k operations right so for example to maximize the consecutiveness of f i can replace t as f that is i can perform only one operation at a time right so here we have three characters of f consecutively right and i can also replace this t with f to have that three consecutive f so this will be the maximum consecutiveness for the character f so similarly we need to check for t so if i try to replace one f in this example i will be getting only two t's consecutively right so whereas if i try to replace this f i will be having only two t's so three will be answer for this particular example so we are going to try to solve this problem using sliding window approach. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we will be having two pointers i and j pointing to the zeroth index. Then we will be creating a dictionary where we will keep track of the characters seen so far. We are going to count the characters, right? So the key will be the characters and the values will be the count of the characters. So initially it will be zero, right? So I will try to move the J pointer at the start and then when we reach a certain condition, we will adjust the sliding window, right? We will adjust the sliding window by modifying the I pointer. I will be explaining the condition as we go through the example, right? So initially the J pointer is pointing to the character T. So we will increase the count by one in the dictionary. Also, I will be having a maximum frequency variable which will be initialized as zero. So the maximum frequency is nothing but the most frequent character encountered so far in the sliding window, right? So now we need to update the maximum frequency. So we need to take maximum between the current characters count and the maximum frequency itself. So here we have zero in the maximum frequency and the count of the current character is one. So we need to update the maximum frequency by one. So now I'm going to explain the particular condition. So we need to take the length of the sliding window. So in this case, it is one. We have only one character in the sliding window, right? So this can be found by taking difference between J and I plus one, right? So this will give me the length of the sliding window. Then we need to check whether this is greater than the maximum frequency plus k. So the k is nothing but 1. So here we are going to have 2. So if this condition is not true, which means the maximum frequency character. So the maximum frequency character is t, right? From t we got this 1, which means in the sliding window, we can maximize the consecutiveness of t by making k changes right so the statement i just said will be true if this condition fails so in this case it fails we will pick the next character right so we will extend the sliding window we will move our j pointer to the next character f then we need to increase the count in my dictionary then we need to take the maximum between the maximum frequency and the current characters count. So here both are one. So we don't have to update the maximum frequency. So the length of the sliding window is two. And then we need to take the maximum frequency plus K. And here we are going to get two again. So again, the condition fails, which means for the maximum frequency character, so now we have updated maximum frequency using f. Since this condition fails, we can still maximize within the window for the character f by making k changes. So within this window, I can make one change here, right? 
so that is what we are trying to do here right so now we need to expand our sliding window so we are going to point to the next character f and we need to increase the characters count by one so here we are going to get two then we need to take maximum between the current characters count and the maximum frequency itself so here we are going to get two so we need to update two in the maximum frequency then we need to take the length of the sliding window that is three then we need to compare with the sum of maximum frequency and k so here this condition fails again which means for the character f so the maximum frequency's character is f right we got this two because of f so by making one change in the sliding window i can maximize the consecutiveness of f by making k changes so we can make one change here and maximize right so that is what we are trying to do here right so again we will expand our sliding window so the j pointer will point to the next character t so we need to increase the count of t and we need to update the maximum frequency since the maximum frequency is already 2 we don't have to update the maximum frequency so one thing is to remember is that this maximum frequency has been updated based on character f in the previous iteration so the length of the sliding window is 4 and the sum of maximum frequency and k is going to be 3 so now this condition is true for the maximum frequency character that is f even making that one change we are not going to maximize for the character f within the sliding window right because we have already found that consecutiveness here right so even after finding here it is not going to change anything here right it is still going to remain as three but that three has been found here itself from the first three character by making that one change in the last character it is not going to change so we need to update the i pointer here so we are going to decrease the count of the i pointers character so that is t so we are going to decrease it by one then we need to move our i pointer by one so now the sliding window reduces to three so now we have done with all the characters in the input so to get the maximum consecutiveness we need to take difference between the total number of questions so here we have four questions and we need to take the i pointers index that is one so here we are going to get three so this will be the maximum number of consecutiveness right that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially the maximum frequency and i will be zero so and we are creating the dictionary here so then i will be writing a for loop where i will be moving our j pointer then i will increase the count of the current character in the dictionary then i will update the maximum frequency by taking the maximum between the max frequency itself and the current characters count then we will be writing a if condition to check whether the length of the sliding window is greater than the sum of maximum frequency and k if that is true we need to update the sliding window by decreasing the current i pointers character by one in the dictionary and we have to move our i pointer by one so finally we need to return the maximum number of consecutiveness by taking the difference between the length of the answer key and the i pointers index that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys